not that the morning yonder? Ah, we see the beginning, God knows whether we shall see the end or no. Faith, I think the king could, could wish himself up to the neck in the middle of the Thames, and so I would he were, at all adventure, and I with him. Now, master, is a good morrow. What cheer? The face, small cheer, some of us is like to have ere this day end. Why, well, fear nothing, man. The king is frolic. Ay, he may be, for he hath no such cause as we. Why, well, say not so. You the man as we are. Violet's most to him as to us, therefore, if he sees reasons, he fears as we do. And that the king hath a heavy reckoning to make if his cause be not good. When all those souls whose bodies shall be slaughtered here shall join together at the latter day and say, I died at such a place. Some swearing, some their wives rawly left, some leaving their children poor behind them. Now if his cause be bad, I think it will be a grievous matter to him. Why, so you may say. If a, if a man send his servant as factor into another country, and if he by any means miscarry, you may say the business of the master was the author of the servant's misfortune. Or if a son be employed by his father and he fall into any leaved action, you may say the father was this, the author of the son's damnation. But the master is not to answer for his servants, nor the father for his son, nor the king for his subjects. For they purpose not their deaths when they crave their services. Some there are that have the gift of premeditated murder on them. Others the broken seal of forgery and beguiling maiden with snap. If these outstrip the law, yet they cannot escape God's punishment. War is God's beetle. War is God's vengeance. Every man's service is the king's, but every man's soul is his own. Therefore I would have every man examine himself and wash every mote out of his conscience, that in so doing he may be the readier for death. <laughs> or not dying, why the time was well spent, wherein such preparation was made. Faith, he says true. I, I shall not have the king answer for me, yet I intend to fight lustily for him. Well, I heard the king, he would not be ransomed. Aye, so he said so, to make us fight. But when our throats be cut, he may be ransomed, and we never the wiser. If I live to see that, I'll never trust his word again. Oh, well, Mass, you'll pay him then. Tis a great displeasure that an elder gun can do against a cannon or a subject against a monarch. Oh, you'll ne'er take his word again. You're an ass. Go! Your reproof is somewhat too bitter. Were it not at this time, I could be angry. Oh, why, let it be a quarrel, if thou wilt. How shall I know thee? Here's my glove! Which if ever I see in thy hat, I'll challenge thee and strike thee. Here is likewise another of mine, and assure thee I'll wear it. Oh, thou darest as well be hanged. Be friends, you fools! We have enough French quarrels at hand. We have no need of English broils. Tis no treason to cut French crowns. For tomorrow the king himself will be a clipper. 